All right. So, out of nowhere, left field, nobody saw it coming. They announced the patch is coming. Um, yeah, I'll just show you. The patch is coming in like two days. It's actually incredibly funny because I was going to stream today and make this video and I was going to rip on them. I was going to tear into them about how they haven't said anything. The tour is almost over, right? Like there's not that many tour events, at least, you know, the premier ones or whatever come in. And then they announced this out of the blue, out of nowhere. Dragon Ball Fighters Balance Adjustment Patch version 1.38 coming September 4th, Wednesday. Woo! What Wednesday? It's not like time zones exist. What Wednesday? Stupid. <laughs> Anyways, the Nintendo Switch version will follow soon. We'll update you once the release date is confirmed. Rest in peace, Switch Bros. Can I can I get a rest in peace, Switch Bros. for the one time? Rest in peace, Switch Bros. All right, they finish it off with thank you for your continued support of Dragon Ball Fighters. In the comments, you have people like, yeah, this got to get nerfed. You know, please fix this, fix that. Also, Brawly can Brawly is level three. He can then Dragon Rush after. No, that's intended. That's intended. Stop. People don't know what you did. Stop. Anyway, some people making their comments, concerns, whatever, blah, 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 right? We've all been there before, you know, I'm not holding my breath. But what I also wanted to talk about today was dev communication, because in recent events, we had, drum roll, dun, 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 to XKL, right? These guys over here making their own fighting game for Riot, right? You have, you know, Unconquerable, the game director, you know. Clockwork, right? He's also got imported Romarlin Pie, Apology Man, you holds right? All these people from the fighting game community working on this game. Now, what has their level of communication been with the community? Sorry. It's been amazing. So, like, what? The first day of the Alpha Lab, Sean, the game director, aka Unconquerable, put up this entire documentation of just like what people have been talking about and him addressing the issues, combo length, TODs. The, the tutorial the tutorial was something they've sprung up about a week before the alpha I had to have been there's just no way anyways yeah so it's just night and day right the level of communication between these two devs how do you spring up hey patch is coming in two days there's no patch notes there's no communication nothing we don't know what's coming we don't know what they're gonna do it's both bandai and arxis working on this thing well we have two xko devs right right employees Full ass write up of comments, issues, and concerns. The f after day one, the first day of the alpha, they're like, okay, man, we gotta address all this. If not, people are gonna be pissed. And they did. And then in the middle of the alpha, they released this 13 minute informative video just breaking things down, talking about the alpha, and then putting up more alpha codes in the middle of it, right? Crazy. And you know what? I don't even like this. I'm gonna like this. And then again, there's a bug. There's a bug with the Ari assist. Sean, game director, and you know, it's not just Sean answering all this shit, but I'm using Sean as an example. Thank you, Fish. I'm using Sean as an example. He's the game director. He's uh, probably besides the Cannon Brothers has the top of the top position working on this game. You think he'd be too busy to answer these questions, but he's like, no, I need these people to know I'm here. I play fighting games. I'm involved. It's insane to me. The disparity. And then, of course, if you just go to the 2XKO page, they have their memes or whatever. But if you go back to when the Alpha Lab was coming, every day they put something up, right, before the Alpha Lab. Uh, here's what it looks like when you launch it. The rollback, the anti-cheat, the netcode, lobby shit, right? They're just being very informative. They're not being secretive like Dragon Ball, Arc Bandai slash Arxis in this case, since Arxis is helping them with the patch. So I, basically what I'm getting down to is, there's no excuse, 2024, the year of our lord, fighting games, right? Fighting games are strong these years, okay? That there should be no communication or your product. You want people to continue playing your product, buying your product. You make a second one. If they make a second one, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. You know, I'll probably still play it. It's just my job. But there's a lot of people that will probably be dissuaded by the way this game was handled. I don't blame them. 
You dropping? I'm not even gonna like this. You know, I'm gonna like this so I could take my like back. All right. This is just terrible communication. Don't do this. If you're a game dev, don't do this. Don't spring up a random up. The, don't spring up the update people thought was gonna come out after Evo, which would have made the most sense because it's like what two, three tour events left, and they're gonna be playing on the new patch, and people are gonna have enough time to get used to it. It's just frustrating. That's what I'm getting down to. It's just frustrating being a fan of the game and then seeing it what it has became through all in all. But anyways, um, I hope the patch is good. I hope it fixes a lot of the issues. Again, we have no idea what direction they're going in, and it's a this is a few this is an actual fusion patch. I don't mean Gogeta, Blue, Vegito, all that shit. I mean like it's Bandai and Arxis fusing. And it's funny, you've got a friend in me is playing right now. I don't know if I got a friend in in them. <laughs> Yo, Lauren, thank you. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not holding my breath, especially when you spring it up last second, but thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me rattle on about this random update drop that should have happened, and let me know what you want to see change, you know? Let me know what you're hoping for, and what you expect, and you know, maybe we'll get a second game, but I don't know, it's a little frustrating, but thanks for listening, I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye. Sorry YouTube bro, there's one thing I gotta test. Someone in my chat said that raids aren't fixed yet. I refuse to believe that. It, it, is there even a raid out? How would I test this? Are, are raids not fixed? I'm just gonna, I'm option selecting this. If raids are not fixed, that's inexcusable. How long has it been since they blundered? If braids are not fixed and that does not get fixed with this patch, there are things I cannot say in public that will that should be said about these guys. It's inexcusable on a product level. But does that include include this last little tidbit? Um, I gotta go see if there's a raid. I will update you if there is. If there's not, then that probably not. There should be a raid during Labor Day weekend. It would only make sense, uh, but if it's not fixed, that is crazy. Please let me know in the comments if it's actually not fixed. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy.